Hello everyone and welcome to Mac Design. In this session we will talk about different types of sketches in Katia. So one is simple sketch, positioned sketch, third one is sliding and isolated sketch. So let's discuss all. I'll create two bodies. In body two I'll make a simple sketch on YZ plane. Remember the plane. Why is it plain? I'm making a simple profile and just making a simple body. In the next body, I'll use position sketch. I'll use the same plane, why is it plain? Click OK. Make same body and extrude it. OK. Now see the difference when I try to move these bodies with the help of compass. So I'll move this body in YZ plane, no issues. We can move this easily. But when I try to move this body, which was made from a position sketch, it will show some error. Oops, select this body and move it. I cannot move a body which is made through a position sketch. That is the main difference between these. Now, when I try to move this body perpendicular to the YZ plane, see what happens. It will ask me to free it from the plane. So I'll click OK. Now, if you see, right click and see the sketch properties, it has become an isolated sketch. All right. So an isolated sketch can be moved in any plane. So I can move this body in any plane. I can rotate it. And do anything with it All right so how do we move this body this position sketch one thing is I can make this a sliding sketch sliding sketch means this will now slide in YZ plane only just like the simple sketch so now we'll try to do it. Now move it in YZ plane okay it moves and the third option is I can isolate it. So now it will behave as an isolated body. Now you have to keep a few things in mind. See, if I change this sketch support from the plane to this face and keep it in, in sliding, okay? Now see what happens when I try to move this. Since the sketch is constrained with this body, this body will also move when I try to move it. All right, that's just a parent-children relationship, which we'll talk about in next session. Now, one last simple thing I'd like to tell you. All these things change when you make a body on an axis system. So I'll create an axis system. I'll delete these two bodies. I'll delete this and create another body. Now, if I make a simple sketch on this body and make a simple rectangle, now I have made a simple sketch, all right? Now, if I try to move this in YZ plane, should it move or not move? Okay, maybe you are thinking that it will move in YZ plane, but see what happens. Because in axis system, when I created sketch, it took constraint, uh, automatic constraint from the axis system. Whereas if I draw the same sketch on YZ plane, simple sketch, I'll take another body and a simple sketch on YZ plane. And now if I create, and now if I move, there is no coincidence constraint with the planes. Oops. Yeah. So I'll just move this body. Now I can move it. 
So uh, keep in mind whether you are making a body on an uh, axis system or on a plane. All right. So this was it in this session. And uh, maybe you are not able to see the constraint here because it's I made it on axis. I'll just show you with another example where you can see it clearly why it did not move in an axis system because if I make a simple sketch on axis system and make a rectangle you see this coincidence that's why it did not move all right so that's the difference between making a sketch on axis system and making it on planes so keep that in mind these are the different types of sketches position sketch yeah, one more thing you can do with the position sketch is, for example, you enter the command, you choose this plane. Now, vertical and horizontal, you can specify the direction. You will, you can reverse the vertical, you can reverse the horizontal. If you click it, the plane will flip like this. So play with these commands, and if you have any doubts, just comment below. I'd be happy to help and try to use these functions also. I'll be making a video soon on these functions also. But try it with yourself and if you face any doubts, just comment below. All right then, see you in the next session.